Welcome back. We're exactly where we left off. Uh, and right now, let's continue on detailing our base mesh and continue on with um, making the best devil in internet. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I know I don't have a sense of humor, guys. Um, come on, let's go. Now, let's actually start detailing the head to get uh, more into his face. Well, uh, right now I'm quite happy with the shape of it, but I need to add in ears. And now you must ask, where would I add in ears? Now, if we would cut this in half, let's uh, turn off perspective for now. If we would cut in this in half and get another line in there, right above the eyes in here, uh, we would actually make the ear somewhere around here. And right now we can actually go on and sculpt his ears let's move them out a bit let's uh, put in a little bit more indication of the skull itself The nose A little grin. Let's do it from the side as well to make sure everything lines up. Okay, perfect. I like how this works. Okay, and let's get that jaw out of the neck so we can actually differentiate the shapes. And what I would like to do is get that little convex at the top of the skull with uh, a much thinner alpha just to break up the shape of the skull. But let's actually uh, make these shapes a little bit smoother, more organic. I don't want him to look like a rock giant. And let's indicate the muscle a bit more correctly. Okay, now let's actually go up in resolution and see what we're going to get. Geometry in Dynamesh, let's do uh, 16, let's do 32. What's Dynamesh? Okay. Let's get those eyes in. And let's get the spheres for the eyes in first. Append, sphere, select sphere, very repetitive. Move, move it up, make it slow, smaller, move it in front, make this small as well. Go back in. Okay. 
and put this right in here. Okay. Let's let's go into the Z plugins, mirror on X again, exactly like we did on the horns. Select the head with an alt click again and start modeling the eyes. Now before we get the resolution up, let's get the maximum amount of detail we can get out of this first to actually get an idea of how it's going to look. Now I really don't know what I'm going to do with the lips. Maybe he can have an overbite, but it's going to make him look like more dumb rather than intelligent and sad. So let's not do that. And straight away, let's model him some lips. Let's see how that's going to work. If not, we can always change it. Now that's the beauty of actually concepting. Okay, perfect. Let's get this in. Let's make a difference between the lips and the chin. Let's fix the forehead just a bit so it's not that uh, mountainy. And now I feel comfortable upping the resolution. Now let's go quite high uh, and do a little bit more traditional method of sculpting. Let's do 128. I'll press. This is going to keep the most of the things we've done. And now let's move the eyes a little bit closer to one another. And let's dig in. Like, literally dig in. <laughs> okay, let's make those eyes quite sad. And I don't want them to look as human. Let's make it as inhuman as possible with a almond shape approach to the eye itself more like a goat rather than a human but again very readable full of emotion that's what i want okay perfect let's move Okay, make sure when you're sculpting eyes, any type of eyes, it's actually wrapping around the eyeball itself. And let's give this a more like stretched feeling. Let's make the eyes a bit droopy.
Okay. Okay, perfect. Now, uh, the reason I added this uh, skin fold at the top of the eye is uh, basically it's not permanent. I actually am testing uh, what result I'm going to get because, like I said, emotional, sad, dark. That's what I'm looking for. So, uh, whatever's going to make it look more aggressive than it needs to. I'm going to get rid of but I don't want him to look like a total pushover as a demon after all um, his uh, look alone should demand respect no guys I don't worship demons <laughs> Let's get the cheekbones in. Now, how you usually model cheekbones are, it's like a big, they're like sunglasses on your face. They go straight here and they have a little indentation in here. So let's incorporate that, see how that looks. Okay, let's get the clay tubes brush, the circle alpha. And let's give him a mouth. But let's actually get the corners first. I'm going to get the damn standard brush. I pressed on B, then pressed on D. And if we press on S, we're going to get the damn standard brush. That's uh, how ZBrush shortcuts work within brushes. Let's get the move brush. Get the lower lip quite big and the upper one thinner. She looks a bit disappointed. That's already good. <laughs> okay. By the way, this is live, guys, not pre-recorded. I believe I mentioned in the last video. Uh, we're actually just testing. Uh, now, most of the things I'm actually doing uh, right now, this comes from my imagination. Um, looking at it, imagining what I'm going to change. Um, I mean, sometimes when you actually think of something in your head, it, ne it doesn't look that good uh, in uh, front of you so whatever you think about just test it first 
slightly and to actually see how it actually works within the real world now for example the mouse I mean I'm quite happy with it now what we can actually do is modify the nose a bit but let's make sure not to make him look like a bat and let's move around a bit to give it more shape in three dimensions again for the silhouette Okay, perfect. Now, before we move on, let's uh, give the eyes a little bit of a paint uh, to actually give our character a life. Now what I did is I filled it with a black color, but it um, really doesn't look good. Let's do MRPG. Select a material. Two second. Let's find the plastic one. I'm looking for the toy plastic. Toy, 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 toy plastic. Color, fill object. Let's get it to pitch black now. It's going to look much better. Uh, let's turn off the MRGB. Let's go to simple RGB. Change the material back to my cap gray. Now we can actually. Uh, turn off seed, make this a bit yellow. Again, don't go too crazy with this. You're just doing this for for you to have a better understanding of what you want to get in the end. Okay, perfect. Let's raise the resolution a bit. Uh, let's do 256. This will allow us to keep the detail in the eyes and the face itself. Now, don't go too crazy with the details in here because uh, before I do anything, I'm most likely going to uh, re apologize for the model to be usable for anything else. Uh, rather than just uh, making pretty images, maybe rigging, animation, everything else. So I'm considering that as well. And let's clean, let's clean the ear behind. I'm using flatten to get rid of this and to not cause too much destruction.
Okay, let's come up with something interesting in here. Let's use the flatten brush to make this tiny bit thinner, but don't go too thin uh, because you're in Dynamesh and it may actually cause artifacts. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's take care of the lips. Again, flatten. I use flatten a lot. And one more little thing, um, when you're sculpting, don't just put in extra details to fill something up. Um, don't just put detail in just to put detail in, if that makes any sense. Okay, perfect. Let's add the little ridge. Okay, perfect. Let's actually continue on with this. And the only reason I'm doing this on the head at the moment is just to see how it looks. So I spend more time on it in the future. Now let's take a look from the top. And first of all, let's turn on perspective. Let's take a look. Well, there's something I don't like, and I think I know what. Uh, I forgot to take my own advice. Let's move this a bit out so it's not that little boxy. Make it a bit more round, shapey. Shapey, is that even a word? I don't know. <laughs> okay, let's go solo on this. Turn off perspective. And maybe. Give it that shape. You see this lip, upper lip is quite flat. Rounder shapes and people and demons and characters that are alive, much better than straight lines. Mm 
Okay. Now the nose. Nose quite worries me because I don't like it, so... Let's actually change a few things around. Okay, and now let's work a little bit more on the horns themselves. Now, they're pointy at top, yes, we can make them so, but let's uh, inflate them for now so we don't get artifacts when we actually down a mesh. Now, go to geometry again. Dynamesh, go 128. Enter, Dynamesh. Perfect. And let's uh, select the clay tubes brush and work on our horns. Now I want a separation in here and let's see how this will actually look. Now again, I'm not using any reference for this at the moment. I'm just concepting it to see how it's actually going to work. And I think uh, working on the horns, I'm thinking about the head itself. And this will allow me to actually get away from this and actually make some decisions. So, uh, what I see is that I don't like the jaw. Makes him to look too masculine. So, uh, let's actually take care of that as well. Okay. Okay. And let's select the standard brush. Well, uh, what I think about what I've just done is basically this. I mean, I like the shelliness of it, that it's empty, hollow in there, uh, that it builds up. Uh, just like that. But what I don't like. Um, let's actually do it like this. Let's move this part down a bit to expose the hollow area. Maybe leave this shape here. But not so much that we cannot see the ears.
Okay. Um, let's uh, work a little bit more on these parts in the next tutorial. And after that, we're going to continue on working with the torso and maybe add in some hands and add in some legs and continue on with it. Thank you. See you in the next one.